Okay, Casey, can you talk about your gamut, being back in the leadoff spot and just kind of get, getting it going tonight? Um, I mean, I know he uh, took Jacks out, kind of moved him down. But, uh, you know, moving up, you got to do uh, what you got to do for your team. And I felt pretty comfortable tonight, saw the ball really well, and uh, just stuck with my approach. Uh, a lot of stuff Shaddy's been telling me, stay through the middle, deep breath, and basically tell myself what kind of player I am before I get into the box. And uh, it's really helped, but that just shows uh, what kind of leader he is on this team. Was it a night where, hey, if I launch one up into this win, it can do something or what? I really wasn't trying to, like I said. I've just been talking with Shaddy. Like he told me, you know, just try to work through the middle, tell myself who I am. And before I got in the box, I just asked for, a, you know, told myself I just need a base hit and, uh, you know, let my hands work and stayed back and let it happen. Heston, just kind of when they were up 7-3, just kind of what was the mindset of the team and, and what you all feel you did to get back in it? You know, there. I feel like with the lineup we have, there's never a game that we're out of. Uh, it was a four-run de deficit at one time, but, you know, we're all confident that we'd be able to scratch some more runs on the board as the game would go on. Jake, the fact that you were able to build on last outing with this one, I mean, how, how good, how much more confidence does that give you? Uh, yeah, it's good. Just uh, obviously show everybody that it wasn't a, a fluke that I uh, came back. So I feel like uh, now that's who I am and that's who they should expect when I come out of the pen. What's been the difference for you? Is there something working for you? Uh, yeah, we talked about it last time. There was just a, a small mechanical tweak and then building confidence in my pitches and then allowing my pitches to helped me build confidence in myself and then kind of letting that all out there on the mound. Feel, how soon do you feel you could be ready against Mississippi State after pitching that? I mean, it was, it was like 55 pitches, 50 pitches, something like that. Uh, I mean, I could probably go Friday, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> they asked us to ask you all about the Mississippi State series since we're not going to talk to you anymore before then. but. Um, what did you think about finishing up this uh, homestand nine and one, and kind of where y'all are going into the next conference series? Heston? You know, we we had a great homestand here back at home, but I think we're all ready to go out and prove that we're a team that can not only uh, win games at home, but also get us some series wins on the road. You guys have played better defense since you know the last couple times you were on the road. I mean, how much confidence does that give you going back on the road the way you play defensively for? For both of you guys. You know, defense is preached by our coaches that it wins you games and you know it normally happens. I know our pitchers love it when we're playing airless defense and it helps us hitters too because less runs we give them the less runs we have to hit in. So Yeah, kinda like you said, um, you know, coaches preach that defense wins games. Uh a lot of coaches you'll hear that'll preach defense wins championships, but um you know, even when you're not hitting the ball, you keep playing defense, things will eventually turn around kind of like tonight. You know, we weren't really hitting the ball early, but uh, we continue to play defense, airless, and um, turn a couple of double plays, actually, I think three, three or four, something like that. And, you know, bats finally came around, and, you know, um, that, that really helps our pitchers out, gives them a lot more confidence. Jake, Jake, was there any talk about what Missouri State came in here and did to end y'all season last year? Did that play into this at all? Uh, there was a, a mention of it before the game and just kind of like, hey, you know, this is, uh, this is you know, kind of a pride game, right? Because uh, they came in here and beat us. So, you know, just kind of helped to get us up for a midweek game and uh, get us excited. And I was excited. I'm not a, not a huge fan of, uh, of those guys. but Just for both you guys as, as defense, uh, on defense, just how big is it having – now a lefty-righty combination out of the bullpen with, with Matt and, and Drake. I mean, they're obviously, you know, uh, top contenders in the SEC as far as closing comes. Um, but it gives our defense a lot of a lot of confidence and our hitters knowing they'll shut them out and then we'll come in and get them a couple runs. So it makes me feel pretty good as far as, you know, me playing defense for them. Uh, I would just say give those two the ball and, you know, they're going to come in and they're going to shut down the other team's offense. Jake, just facing Mississippi State again um, on the road. You know what it's like uh, there in Starville. Just 
the series this weekend and how, how important it is for you guys. Yeah, that was actually my uh, my first SEC outing of my career, freshman year, five innings. Uh, but yeah, you know that's huge. Uh, it's a it's a tough place to play. They're loud. They pack the thing out. Uh, it's a great environment. Uh, we're excited. Just again, like Heston said, to show everybody that we can win on the road. For Heston and Casey, it's not easy coming in as a freshman and hitting in this league. But two of you guys seem like you've, you've done pretty well. What, what what do you think is you know the reason for that? Um, honestly, I'd say the leadership we have from the older guys, uh, like Shaddy and Biggers or Cole. Uh, they definitely give me a lot of confidence myself, uh, just basically telling me what kind of hitter I am. And they believe in me, so I should believe in myself. Yeah, you know, coming in here, it's it's a change of game from high school, but you just got to take it one pitch at a time, one game at a time, and not take any at bat from for granted. And, you know, one thing that helped me a lot was just being able to be around guys that have had hundreds of bats in the SEC. They all bring important information to help every, me out and everyone else in the lineup. And also having a hitting coach like Coach Thompson, he, he understands hitting. He plays a big part in helping us improve on our hitting day in and day out. Jake, what do you think about what you've seen from those two? Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say I expected we, us to have two freshmen come in and just tear it up like this, uh, but it's been great just to, you know, maybe fill gaps left in the lineup from guys that uh, left last year and to bring the power and the average and everything, speed, um, it's incredible.